Hey and welcome to another Pecom Planner tutorial. My name is Tim and in today's video I am going to show you a few tricks that will help you trace your 2D floor plans. This video is meant to follow up the existing tutorial on importing, scaling and cropping floor plans in Pecon Planner. If you haven't seen it yet, click on the info card to watch it. A floor plan is best traced in the top view. Since the top view is two dimensional, we do not have a reference for the height of the walls here. Before we start drawing the first wall, we need to set the height of the room in the preferences. You can see a small option arrow at the bottom right of the room elements. Here you can define default settings for newly inserted walls, windows and doors. This is where we set the room height to 2.75 meters. To make the drawn walls more visible in the planning area, we also set the hatching to filled and assign it a color. Now we can set the wall from the room elements and start drawing. You might notice that the drawn wall has a completely different width than indicated in the floor plan. Let me show you a trick for this. After you have set the starting point of your wall, press T on your keyboard. A small measuring tape will then appear at the mouse cursor. You can use it to measure the thickness of the wall directly from the floor plan and apply it to your current wall. If you reach a point where the wall thickness changes, you don't have to stop drawing. Just press T again and continue drawing with the new wall thickness. It will occur repeatedly that the start and end point of the walls need to be changed. You can easily switch the orientation of the wall by clicking the control key. This also works for the end point of the wall. You can do this by pressing the alt key. You can always right click to open the list of comments while you are drawing in case you forgot one of the shortcuts. Now let's look at how you can connect, disconnect and split walls. Typically, the walls are automatically connected to each other when you draw them. Sometimes it happens that the connection becomes loose, for example, if you move a wall or have not hit the connection exactly during tracing. For example, if you want to insert a floor, you will see that this doesn't work for a room that isn't closed. Don't worry, there is a simple solution for this problem as well. Check the floor plan to see where the walls are not connected and then select both walls. In the upper right corner, next to the room elements, there are the wall operations that will help you. Click once on connect and the walls will be connected to each other. Now it is possible to insert the floor correctly. Another useful feature is splitting walls. In my floor plan you can see that I have drawn a long outer wall. On the inside of course, the floor plan is divided into several rooms. When I assign a color or a texture on the wall, it is assigned to the entire wall. To give the individual rooms their own texture, select the outer wall and go back to the wall operations. With a click on split wall, the wall can be split at one or more points. Now I can add individual colors and textures to the room and my 2D floor plan becomes more of a 3D design. That's it for this video, I hope it was helpful. Next time I will show you how to grab doors and windows in your floor plan and configure them according to the specifications of the room. Drop us any questions you have about floor plans and architecture in the comments. Thanks for your attention and see you next time.